let's take up the third and last case that of speed being constant uh, now this situation would occur less frequently as compared to the earlier two situations uh, speed being constant means it would be the same individual is being compared in two different scenarios right so he's going to travel at the same speed uh, but but let's say part of a journey at a particular speed he doesn't change his speed but there's another part right it, it would be more apparent if we do an example however there are fewer examples of this type and since we have done so many examples of the other two variety i'm sure proportionality as a concept you would have understood yeah so let's just take one example uh, to look at what i mean a car traveling in the same direction as an auto overtakes the auto at 9 am reaches a destination at 12 and immediately turns back and meets the auto again at 1 pm at what time will the auto reach the destination so uh, to capture it in a picture wise format so i have the car and the car is overtaking an auto in the same direction. So my auto is lower, car is up, all right? And the, this happens at 9 a.m. The car reaches a destination at 12. It immediately turns back and meets the auto again. So the auto is continuing on its journey, meets the auto again at 1 p.m. And the question is at what time does the auto reach the car? So let's look at it. The story, the sort of subject of the story is the car. So making three points that is A, B and C. The car takes from, from our earlier chapters, a few of them, we would have interested the 9 a.m. and 12 noon is not of importance to us. What is important is the time duration between them. Whenever the data is given in terms of AM, PM, immediately take it into the time interval. So it should come down very clearly for your, for the, the, the same car for distance A to C takes three hours, right? And whereas for the distance C to B, the distance C to B, it takes in uh, one hour. So it is the same car. So if the car is the same as speed is same, so if speed is same and the ratio of time uh, is 3 is to 1, so therefore the date ratio of distances will also be 3 is to 1. That is what we just learned, right? If speed is same, the ratio of the time taken is same as the ratio of distances. So I would have distance, uh, if A to C, this distance is 3K, then B to C, this distance is going to be 1K. And obviously that means A to B, the distance is 2K. So the distance is in the ratio uh, 2 is to 1, A, B and A, C. Now let's shift our focus to the auto. So the auto is at uniform speed. Uniform speed, let's take the distances. What distance are we talking about? A to B and B to C. This distance is in the ratio 2 is to 1. So time taken will also be in the ratio 2 is to 1. The auto takes from 9 a.m. to 1. 9 to 1 is 4 hours. 4 hours out of a year. So the auto will take 2 more hours for B to C. So the answer is going to be at 3 p.m. The auto reaches the destination. Proportionality between time, speed and distance goes far more deeper than what we have seen. Some major difficult questions can be done very easily. If uh, one understands the concept. It's very difficult for me to make you understand. Yeah, it should happen a little subconsciously. For example, let's revisit a question of train developing a fault. Yeah, for your uh, recollection, the question is put up again. A train develops a fault and travels at three fourth of its speed year after and reaches its destination 45 minutes late. Had the fault occurred 30 kilometers further ahead, the train would have been late only by 35 minutes, right? The earlier time we found what was the regular speed. What, what if the question was, find the distance from the destination where the fault got developed, right? So, uh, 
let's see this before i go to the question let's understand the concept here this has nothing to do with the question just remember think about it like this i am at a particular point uh, a and i travel so this is me traveling along it and i travel to a point b which i, I take let's say 60 minutes 60 minutes because it's a round number 1 hour and so on and uh, uh, let's say i start at 9 am so obviously i'll reach at 10 am let me just divide it into four equal segments so this is the midpoint can we identify when am i going to reach the midpoint 9:30 and it's obvious i'm pretty sure everyone will answer if i take a total of 10 uh, one hour out of it for half the distance i'll use half a minute half an hour this is proportionality this is what i said it should be seamless yeah one should it what if i divide it into further half so i'll be here at point uh, this at 9:15 this is again midpoint of the midpoint uh, uh, of halfway so this is going to be 9:45 right so this all is proportionality being played in your mind right now let's say the same distance i cover the next day but at a little reduced speed i cover it at a little reduced speed and so this time i am 20 minutes late as compared to the previous time right now earlier this time was given to us try try to avoid doing the knowing this but for uh, us since is 20 minutes over 60 so this means i take 80 minutes for the entire distance uh so obviously if i would have started at 9 i am starting at the same time would i reach again at 10 itself no this time 20 minutes late so i would be reaching at 10:20 let us forget the first case and let's do this again what time would i be at the midpoint i take 80 minutes so today i'll take 40 minutes for half the way so i would be at 9:40 so remember i've just done half the way in my usual situation at 9:30 i would be here today i am at 9:40 so that is i am already 10 minutes late 10 minutes late right and think what i am trying to tell you is over the full distance i was 20 minutes late so over half the distance i would already have been late it's not so that i am on time on time on time at the last moment suddenly there's a uh, time elapses very fast and i am 20 minutes late right the late being late starts right from the first position step that i take because i am a little slow right so by midway i am already 10 minutes late if you have got the hang of it what i am saying is in the 1/4th of the way by the time i reach 1/4th of the way 1/4th of the way i will take 20 minutes 20 minutes is 9:20 in the usual situation i take only 15 minutes today i took 20 minutes so i am already 5 minutes late 5 minutes late and similarly at 3/4 of it right i would be taking 3/4 60 minutes so i would be reaching here at 10 10 means 9:45 instead of 9:45 10 that is i am 15 minutes late so uh, what we were talking about is even if i don't have the 60 minutes and 80 minutes forget all this out of it i do not know what time all i know is i start at the same time i start at the same time if i am 20 minutes late that 20 minutes late being late itself is going to be proportional to the distance cover because it's the same me right my speed is same uniform year also is uniform year also is uniform it's the same me right i'm not changing accelerating or distance so the 20 minutes late will be proportionally divided over the entire distance half the distance i'm half late one fourth the distance i'm one fourth late let's say the second half of the distance i'm another 10 minutes late last one fourth and 10 minutes late what's how much late am i over the middle half from one fourth to three fourth and 10 minutes late i hope you understand this right so this is what i mean by proportionality should be very very subconscious and if this is true then the question we are attempting becomes a oral question i'm going at full speed i need to develop a fault i travel at reduced speed and i am 
uh, 45 minutes late had the fault occurred some distance further 30 kilometers further had the fault occurred 30 kilometers further i would have been late by only 35 minutes so uh, i hope you get this so over this distance i am late by 35 late by 35 minutes whereas over the earlier distance this i am late by 45 minutes and since I am more late, that distance has to be more than this, obviously. And that is the genesis of proportionality. Or more late, more distance, proportionally more. So, obviously, the distances have to be in the ratio of 45 and 35. That is 9K and 7K. And if that is true, I know the difference given to me. 2K is 30. So, therefore, K is equal to 15. And if K is 15, 9K is going to be 135 kilometers 7k is going to be uh, whatever, 905 kilometers. So the fault occurred 135 kilometers from the destination. Hope you got the idea, right? Here it's not the time taken, it is the amount by which we are late, yet I can use proportionality here as well. With this, we end this subtopic of proportionality. Before I sign off, uh, I promise that we can uh, apply proportionality in the swimming pool question. Uh, two people starting from opposite end, they meeting at 96 meters from one end, reaching the other end, turning back, meeting at 48 meters from the other end, what's the length of swimming, right? Uh, why I am doing it, why I am insisting on the proportion is, uh, it's not very evident what is a constant, is speed same or distance same or so on. So look and see how in almost every question we can avoid doing an equation and just solve it using a thought process. So here it is. The example was, P and Q start from opposite ends, uh, A and B respectively of a swimming pool and meet for the first time at 96 meters from A. They continue reach the other end and turn back and meet for the second time at 48 meters from B. Uh, the question was find the length of the swimming pool. Right? So, I recaptured the, the picture out of the way here. So, A and B. So, P starts from A, Q starts from B. They meet first time at 96 meters. Uh, for the second meeting, uh, same A, B, and the second meeting is given to me as 48 from B. I left you with a thought even if you did not do it at that time, think now. Considering both of them together as one unit. Now it may take some effort for us to understand this, but just consider together and considering both of them together. Whatever A, B does, whatever Q does, I'm going to add them. So A does 96, B does the rest. Together they do one length of the swimming pool. The distance covered in the first meeting, from start to the first meeting is one. Again from the original start, A covers one, P covers one full length, he turns back and is on his way back when he meets the uh, other Q. Q on his part has done the full length, he has turned back and while on his way back he has met P. Right? So considering the work done or them taken together as a unit, could I say from start till the second meeting they have covered a total distance of 3L. Now they being together, the distances have changed, right? And, but they are going at their own uniform speeds. A is P, P is not changing his speed, Q is not changing his speed. So together their speeds also is not changing. Speed being constant, time and distance are going to be directly proportional. Therefore the time for the first and the second meeting is going to be in the ratio 1 is to 3. The ratio of distance is the ratio of time. Mind you, this can work only when both have to reach their ends, turn back and have to meet while they are coming back. Right? Uh, and if this is true, how does the question become in order without anything? Now, if I know the meeting between first and this, now just consider P. Consider P alone. So, first meeting, he covers 96 meters. 
So by the second meeting, from start to second meeting, he is going to cover 3 into 96 meters, right? Which is nothing but 270 and 18, 288 meters. 288 meters is 48 is is complete length plus 48. So which is same as the complete length plus 48 meters. So obviously the length is 240. Hope you got the idea, right? Again, we are using proportionality, but it is not to do with any one individual. We are considering together, right? So that's why I say proportionality is a pretty powerful tool. We cannot exhaust questions on proportionality. In fact, after the whole theory is done, when we solve questions, puzzles, or so on, we'll keep using these proportionality functions. So that's it about proportionality. From this next lecture onwards, it's standard stuff related to relative speed and uh, boats and trains, boats and streams, trains, right? Then all it will be easier.